Welcome to day one of the ASA Gold 18 and Under National Softball Championships in beautiful Clearwater, Florida. Now from the field, here's Eric Pignataro. I'm here in Clearwater, Florida at the Eddie Seymour Complex, home for the ASA 18 and Under Gold National Championships. With 64 teams participating this week, 55 from out of state, 9 in state, and 2 local teams. One team traveling from Sarasota, Florida, and one local team in Tampa. Teams ranging as far as Massachusetts all the way across the map to Washington State. As you can see, there's a lot of girls here excited for softball and excited for this week. How excited are you guys to actually be here? Well, very excited. I mean, it's ASA Gold Nationals. I'm actually from Little Rock, Arkansas. I just play with Tulsa Elite, and I'm one of four girls that have ever played in the ASA Gold from Arkansas. Outstanding. So it's pretty cool to be here right oh, yeah, now. Yeah, I bet, I bet. Yeah. Today starts the elimination round, with it all coming to a head Saturday at 2.30 for the championship game. Now to our live coverage.
We got a little late start to the 6.30 game tonight, a little hour behind. Welcome to Clearwater, Florida, home of the Eddie Seymour Complex and Clearwater Beach, voted Beach of Florida and USA Today. Our final game of the day are the Gator Go Gators Gold and Nebraska Fury Gold. Foul ball to start the game, 0-1. Leading it off for the Gators, number three, center fielder Marissa Mangini. Ball, one and one. Foul, one and two. Which one isn't playing for the Gators? Three, eleven, eight, two, twenty-four, twelve. Eleven, eight, two, twenty-four, twelve, one, thirty-three, sixteen. So there's no ninety-nine. Okay. Struck her out. Strike three to start the game. Run away here in the top of the first. Now up number 11, Emily Lachtin, the shortstop for the Gators. Called strike one and one. Two and one. Great encouragement from the Gator fans. Upstairs, three and one. Soft brown ball to short. Throw to first. Just in time. Two away. Upstairs, 1-0. Oh. Right down the pipes, 1-1. One and one.
at the dish is left fielder number eight, Savannah Thrun. Betting third today for the Gators. Looking to bunt one. Foul, one and two. That's hilarious. Struck her out at the end of the inning. Called strike three. Two strikeouts from the Nebraska Fury pitcher at the end of the first half of the inning. 0-0, zero, zero, no score. We're back. Back to the softball action. Leading off the bottom of the first for the Nebraska Fury Gold. Number 22, your shortstop, Nicole Warren. That's downstairs, 1-0. Inside, quick 3-0. and oh. Downstairs, ball four, take your base. Lead off, man aboard. Lead off, girl aboard for the Nebraska Fury. Batting second for the Fury, number seven left fielder, Lizzie Noble. One of four players on this Fury team that have committed to the UNO Mavericks. Good luck to these young ladies. Downstairs, 1-0. Alex Arceola is having trouble finding the strike zone to start this game. Five straight balls. I'm sure the nerves are jumping out of her skin right now. She's got to just not be so overly anxious. And remember what they came here to do. Not a fine pitch right down the middle. Foul. One and one. All these girls have tons of talent. Alex asking for a ball change.
to the softball action outside 1 0. I do apologize for calling the wrong girl pitching. Pitching today for the Gators is Corey Bodges. Behind the plate catching is the girl I had named before, Alex Arceola. Line drive to the left, base hit. And that'll go all the way to the wall. One run will score. Nicole Warren crosses the plate. Here comes Lizzie Noble. 2 nothing. Nebraska Fury gold. And the crowd is going nuts for the Fury. An early two-zip lead in the bottom of the first. None away. Great pitch hitting by the catcher, Megan May. Stand-up double. Corey Bodges looking to dig in deep here and prevent damage in this bottom of the first inning. Hopefully keep the Gators in the game. Nebraska Fury looking to keep those bats a moving. Foul ball. Stepping in the batter's box, number 13, your third baseman, Jen Darrow. Jen Darrow has already committed to Creighton University and signed. Good luck to Jen. Sharp round ball to first, over the glove, base hit. Coming around third, no play at the plate. Another run will score, giving the Fury goal a 3 nothing lead. Good piece of hitting by Jen Darrow. Runner out first, still nobody away here. Ball down the middle, strike one. As I take a look at the Eddie Seymour complex, all the games have concluded on fields one, two, and four, and I'm going to assume six, seven, eight, and nine are all done as well. Yet we're still in the bottom of the first tier between the Gators and the Fu Nebraska Fury Gold. Uh oh, they caught in a rundown. Safe at second. A little late on the throw. But yes, all the games have concluded here in Fleerwater, leaving fans just to come watch this Nebraska Gators game. Crowd starting to form. But good luck topping the last spectacle here on field three. Foul ball. One and two. At the dish now is number two, Zierra Flodman. Soft brown ball to third, throw to first. Just in time. And Bodgers gets on the board there with one out away. Moves the base runner up in the process. Putting Jen Darrow at third with less than two outs. Now the dish, number 12, Megan May. One of the four committed to the UNO Mavericks. Wind up in the pitch. Foul back, one and one.
The lights are now on here in field three at the Eddie Seymour Complex. Swing and a miss, one and two. Corey trying to regain her composure. Fouled away, one and two. Megan's hanging tough. Great encouragement from her teammates and fans for Corey to hang in there and battle back. Swing and a miss, strike three, huge strikeout. She needed that punch out there. Two away. Now at the plate, number one, Corey Zipke. She'll graduate in her class of 2014 at Elkhorn South High School, Nebraska. Looking to lay a bunt down and waves and miss. One and two. Outside. Evens up the count. Two and two. Correction, the scoreboard is wrong. It is now one and two. The scorekeeper is on top of it. Our very own Joshua Bateman. Swing and a miss. Strike three. She comes back with two punch outs at the end of the inning. Limiting to just a three run damage bottom of the first. At the end of one. Nebraska Fury go three. Gators nothing. We'll be right back here. It field three. And we're back to the softball action. Leading off the top of the second for the Gators, number two, first baseman, Cassandra Castle. Called strike one. Jay Lee Heinrich on the mound for the Nebraska Fury Gold today. Fouled away. Quick going to Cassandra Castle is one of the verbal commitments to Florida Gulf Coast University. Yes, everybody's heard of Florida Gulf Coast now since their big run in the NCAA tournament. Nobody forget the 15 seed that went on to the Elite Eight. putting their names on the map which will benefit all the other sports over there at Florida Gulf Coast inside fall away one and two Yeah, some of the pit some of the softball pitchers strike them out. One away in the top of the second. Jaylee Heinrich bringing her A game tonight. Gators gonna have to step off offensively here. That was that was Kaylee's third strikeout of the night. Right down the pipes, 0-1. Now at the plate for the Gators, your starting pitcher, number 24, Corey Bodges. 
trying to help her own cause. Corey has already signed at the Indian River State College. Good luck to Corey. Swing and a miss. One and two. Jaylee's bringing the heat right now. Fouled away. Just got a piece of that fastball. One and two. <laughs> Nebraska seems to be one of those pesky teams that will make it deep in this tournament. Winning fundamentally sound and great pitching games. That got stuck in her hand. Ball two. She was a, it was an attempt at a curveball. First base coach for the Gators, not happy that the, his batter did not let it hit her. She would have got a free base in the process. Two and two. In the dirt. Full count. From both these teams. Up my way, over my head, all four. And the Gators get on the base pass for the first time in the game with a walk. That was going in the snack bar. Gators called. Time out to talk to the umps. Want to know? So, who is this magic, mysterious girl? I have the paper here. There's, oh, there's number five. Call low strike. Looking to steal second, third on the second. Throw her out. What a throw by the catcher, number nine. Uh, Megan May. Great throw by Megan May. The throw her out at second. Nebraska saw it coming. The pinch runner came in with the speed. First pitch, she took off. Two away now here in the top of the second. Leaving Alex Arciolo with nobody on. That's a little high. Two and one. Nebraska fans not happy with the Gators' remarks. Swing and a miss. Strike two. J. Lee keeps bringing the heat. Telling these Gator hitters, catch up with it if you can. Blows it on by our fourth punch out of the game. At the end of one and a half, Nebraska Fury three, Gators nothing. We'll be right back.
Leading off the bottom half of the second for the Nebraska Fury. Number one. No, correction. Number eight. I don't have a number eight. Number eight, Katie Hurd. Oh, I'm going in a second. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Oh. That's three. Correction, strike three. Foul tip catch, meaning strike three. They want to check and see if it hit the ground. They're going to ask the other umpires to get this figured out and squared away. It will be a strikeout. Three strikeouts in a row for Corey Bodges. She is getting back and in her groove. Now up number 15, designated hitter, Emily Jonas. Emily Jonas has come in to Nebraska at Kearney. Good luck to Emily over there in Nebraska. Four punch outs in a row for Corey Bodges. Is this 22 or 14? 22. Back to the start of the lineup. Number 22, Nicole Warren. She walked in her first at bat and scored a run. Two and one, two outs here in the bottom of the second. Nobody on base for the Fury. Wind up in the pitch. That's low. Three and one. Nicole looking to draw her second walk of the game. Swing and a miss. That'll fill up the count. Three and two.
Soft ground ball to third. In comes third base and third to first. Just got her by a hair. Nebraska crowd is shocked. She looked like she was safe from our point of view. But unfortunately, it all that matters with blue calls. And that'll do it for the end of the second. Nebraska Fury 3, Gator 0. We'll be right back. Little ones, come out and play. Off with your shoes, run free. Use your outside voices. Go, build your monuments, unearth your treasures. For you are explorers, and youth is not to be squandered. Visit stpeteclearwater.com. First, leading off the top of the first, number one right fielder, Whitney Ferris. Looking to bunt her way on foul, 0-1. Oh Whitney Ferris has already signed at Florida A&M University. She graduated with a 3.5 GPA, outstanding. Meeting as adjourned, back to the softball action. 0-1, wind up in the pitch. Popped up the bunny again, the catcher underneath, and we'll put it away for the first out of the inning. Soft ground ball back to the pitcher. Jaylee to first. Too late. She ran it out. Lauren Fry ran it out. Nice piece of base running. Runner on first. One away here in the top of the third. Infield single. That's the first hit for your Gators here. Upstairs, 1-0. Stepping in the batter's box, number 16, Brianna Rano. The third baseman for these Gators. She just, she just graduated from Jupiter High School. Swing and a miss, 1-1. One one. Brianna trying to bunt her way on. Throw to first. Out. Two away. One will move up to second into scoring position. Gators still looking to get on the board here. And then I'll get back to the start of the lineup for the Gators. Center fielder Marissa Mangini. Struck out in her first at bat. Jaylee gets a sign she likes. Wind up in the pitch. Downstairs, 1-0.
2 0. Down 2 0. 2 0. Swing and a miss. Two and one. Lauren Fry moves up on the play to third base. Official score, pass ball. Gators now with the young lady on third. Looking to break open their scoring day. Wind up in the pitch. Fouled away. Count evens up at two and two. Marissa a little behind on that fastball. Jaylee bringing smoke off the third baseman. Shortstop cannot come up with it. Safe and first on the play. The Gators will get on the board with a run. Marissa Mangini with the RBI. That was a hard hit ball. Jen Darrow could not come up with the play. Great effort. One and zero. Back at the dish, number eleven, Emily locked in, grounded out to short in her first at bat. Jaylee coming with fastball after fastball, swinging a miss, one and one. Strike zone. Right down the pipes, two and two, count evens up. Jay Lee seeking her fourth strike out of the game, correction, fifth strike out of the game. Just got a piece of it fouled away. Nightfall is upon us in Clearwater. Temperatures dropped a little bit. Very comfortable for all the fans and players. Popped up to second. Underneath will make the play. Out of the inning. But Gators get on the board with a run. Cut the deficit to two after two and a half. Nebraska Fury Gold three. Gators one. We'll be right back. And we're back to the softball action in Clearwater, Florida at the Eddie C. Moore Complex in Field 3. The last game remaining on the first day of championship play. Corey Bodges gets the sign. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Leading off the inning for your Fury Gold is number 7, Lizzie Noble. 
She got hit by a pitch in her first at bat and scored the second run of the game. Outside, one and one. Catcher looking for an appeal. No swing, one and one. Foul. Count goes to one and two. Hard hit ball to left field. Foul ball. Count stays the same at one and two. Lizzie was a little out in front of that one. Soft hit to second. Caught out in the air. Fine play by the second baseman. Lauren Fry. One away. Four. Corey Bodges is rolling along after that tough first inning. Steve Wright going one. She is now retired. Seven straight batters for the Fury Gold. Ground ball to third. Foul. Count goes to 0 2. Ever since the back to back hits by the Fury, she's gotten ahead in every count. While there has been 0-2, 1-2, and, and that's been a recipe for success so far. That's low, 1-2. and two. What? That's too long of a cheer. Me? Oh, then. Ground ball up the middle. Second baseman there. Throw to first. Out. Fine play by the second baseman on the Gators. Lauren Fry. Back-to-back -back fine defensive plays by Lauren. Two away. That's eight straight retired batters by Corey. Paints the outside corner, 0-1. Jen Darrow had an RBI single in her first at bat. Upstairs, one and one. Two and one. Nobody on two out. Bottom of the third. That's away. Three and one. Jen should get a good pitch to hit here. She gets the sign she likes. Wind up in the pitch. Popped her up. Back up. Just out of my reach. Count stays the... Correction. Count goes full. Three and two. Corey getting lots of recognition from her crowd. Looking for nine. No, line drive up the middle. Base hit, Jen Dow. She's now two for two on the day. And they have a base runner aboard here with two outs in the bottom of the third. And that'll bring up number two, first baseman, Zierra Flodman. Okay. 
in Jen's previous hit. She went on, I believe, the second pitch stealing. And will she do it again? She thought about the first throw on the first. They got her. Great play by the catcher, number 12. Got her at first, just kind of creeping off. Throw down and out of the inning. After three innings, Nebraska Fury three, Gators one. Back to the softball action. Leading it off for the Gators. Savannah Froon. She struck out looking in her first at bat. No 1 0. Oh. Sharp ground ball to second. Easy put out at first. One away. Stepping into the plate, first baseman Cassandra Castle also struck out swinging in her first at bat. Looking to change the tables here. Ball low, 1 0. Just goes foul, third baseman cannot come up with it. 1 and 1. back one and two good cut great cut by Cassandra all of you listening out there don't forget none of the teams have been eliminated yet all the losing teams will have one game left to play tomorrow if they win they move on tomorrow for the losers if you lose and you're out as for the winners they just keep trucking right along inside two and two Wind up in the pitch. Yeah. Struck her out. Great pitch by Jaylee. Fifth punch out of the game. Yeah. Two away here in the bottom of the fourth. Fouled. A little late on the swing. 0 oh 1. Here's the gold pitcher, Gators gold pitcher, Corey Bodges, trying to help her own cause. What's going on, buddy? Oh and one. Low strike called. Oh and two. Jaylee looking for another punch out. Here's the pitch. Strung on and struck him out. Sixth strike out of the game for Jaylee Heinrich. Rolling right along over the Gators. 
at the end of three and a half. Nebraska Fury three, Gators one. And we get back to the softball action. Leading off the bottom of the fourth for the Fury. Number two, first baseman, Zira Feldman. She grounded out the second or first time up. I mean third. Outside, 2-0. The Fury having a hard time getting base runners since their great first inning where they put three runs on the board. Right down the middle curveball, steer right, two and one. Swing and a miss. Even up the count, two and two. Corey Bond just battling right back after a quick two and zero oh count. Swinging a miss, strike three. Her fifth strike out of the game. Now up to nine total strikeouts between the two pitchers in this game. Excellent pitching performance. Corey Bodges just had to settle down. Swing and a miss, 0-1. She had the nerves going early. As soon as she settled him down, this Nebraska team has had a hard time getting the ball out of the infield, let alone putting the ball in play. Another swing and a miss, 0-2. Must be 11 straight outs then. Yeah, you're right. This one hit to right field. Gators underneath it will come up with the play. Two away. So I said wrong? Oh, no, it's real good. Or I said right, that's wrong on there? No, no, it's right. I'm oh, okay. Just, I'm just saying. Two away here in the bottom of the fourth. Yep. 11 straight outs for Corey Bodges. That's in the dirt, 1-0. Right, left, right. Right, left. <laughs> That's in the dirt again, 2-0. Corey's falling behind her last three batters. On the inside corner, strike one. I thought it was only two. She behind the last two batters? It was a 0-2 oh, oh count for the last batter. No, it wasn't. It was 2-0. and oh, And she battled back to make it 2-2. Two and two. And then it was a fly ball. No, the last two. Well, I made up the three part. Inside. Three and one. Three.
three and one. She got a nice pitch to pit here. Soft bunt, foul ball, foul ball. Count goes full, three and two. Both these teams are very fundamentally sound defensively. Not a lot of mistakes have been made today. Corey getting tons of encouragement from her fellow teammates and fans. Right down the center, strike three, ring her up. Her sixth strikeout of the evening. My official scorekeeper would be correct. First looking. And at the end of four, Fury Gold clinging on to a 3-1 lead over the Gators. We'll be back. And we're back here in the top of the fifth. Leading off for the Gators, number 12, the catcher, Alex Arceola. Swing and a miss, strike one. Just a little high, one and one. The Fury Gold fans not happy with the call. Swung on the right field. That's going to drop in for a Texas blooper base hit. And Gators with a leadoff man aboard. Looking to put some runs back on that board and tie up this ball game. And that'll bring up right fielder number one, Whitney Ferris. She popped out to the catcher last at bat. I have not seen a home run all day today in the three games I've called. Still looking for my first bomb from these young ladies. They've been happening on different fields, just not mine. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Back to the softball action. No idea. I think 32. Chile gets the sign she likes. Sets up in the livers. Megan was looking to bunt. Throw down the first. Almost got him. She just got back in in time by a hair. These throwdowns the first have been effective today. Timeout called by the Gators hitting coach. Going to talk it over with his players. And we're back in the action. 0 oh, and 1 count. Runner on first, none away. Here's the windup in the pitch. Whitney looking to bunt, pops it up. Foul. 0 oh, and 2. Coach giving the signs. 
Whitney gonna look one here to drive in a gap or a hole. Here's the pitch. Outside, one and two. Alex Arciolo was inching off first. Be careful, the Nebraska Fury catcher, Megan May, was looking down there. And she's not scared to throw. One and two. Inside, swung on, just goes foul. Count stays the same. Good cut by Whitney Harris. Lots of encouragement from this Gator bench. Trying to get Whitney pumped to see if she can drive one. That's low. Two and two. Good eye. Three innings left to play. This Gator team has not even come close to giving up yet. Down 3-1. Inside. Swung on foul. Two and two. Upstairs, count will go full, three and two. This will be the ninth pitch of the at-bat. Florida a &M can't wait to get this young lady. Oh, she couldn't lay off the high heat. It struck her out. Seventh. Strike out of the game for Miss Jaylee Heinrich. Timeout called. Timeout called by the Nebraska Fury coach Mike Hurd. Gonna have a talk with his team out. Team, we'll be right back. Timeout has been adjourned. Let's get back to the softball action. Now at the dish. Second baseman, number 33, Lauren Fry, looking to bunt her way on. Popped up and out of play, 0-1. This Gator team looking to go to the bunt quite often today. Night nightfall has fully in effect. The lights are completely on. It's a fine Wednesday night here in Clearwater. 9 p.m. local time. Here's the bump we talked about. And she's going to be safe on the play. Gators now with first and second threatening here in the top of the fifth. One away. And that'll bring number 16, the third baseman, Brianna Renault. Gators looking to put something on the board here. Wind up in the pitch. On the outside corner, 0-1. Right Jen Dero, the third baseman for the Fury, was way down the line there. Thinking the bunt was a coming. Give it time, it still may. 0-1, here's the pitch. There's the bunt. Back to the pitcher, throw to first, he's safe, she's safe, bags are loaded for the Gators now. They've been going to that bunt often and successfully this inning. One away, bags loaded, back to the start of the lineup, number three. She had a single with an RBI her last at bat, Marissa Mangini. Tons of encouragement from this Gator benching crowd.
Could this be the Indian and Gator do damage? They have not really gotten to Jaylee yet this game. This is the first inning she's had to sweat a little bit. Let's see if Jaylee Heinrich can dig in and get out of this inning. She gets her sign wind up in the pitch. Swung on to third base. Out of third. Double play to end the inning. Double play in the end of the inning. The Nebraska Fury crowd is going absolutely nuts right now. Heads up play by Jen Darrow at third base. She got the ground ball, tagged the runner, forced it third. Double play, end of the inning. We go to the bottom half of the fifth. The Fury hold on to a 3-1 lead over the Gators. And we're back in Clearwater, Florida at the Eddie Seymour Complex here in field three. Nebraska Fury Gold holding on to a 3-1 lead. Swung on, sharp ground ball to second, throw to first, one away. The Gator team looks a little deflated after that double play. They were threatening, unable to come up with anything in the top half of the fifth. Let's see if Corey Bodges can buckle down and hold, keep this game to a two-run lead. Uh, at the plate, number 15, your designated hitter, Emily Jonas. Struck out in her first at bat. Quick 2-0 here. You tell him, little man. Corey gets the sign she likes. Delivery on the outside corner. Paints it perfectly. Two and one. Ball. Three and one. Fly ball to right field. Ferris underneath comes up with the play. Two away. Hey, I called it correctly. I said Ferris comes up the play without looking at the book. You, you, you don't even know any of their names, so it's like defensively. Right down the pipes, 0-1. Two quick outs here for Corey Bodges. Hard ground ball down the third baseline. Oh, just foul. Just foul. 0-2. This will get us back to the start of the lineup for the Fury Gold. Nicole Warren at the dish. She's walked and scored a run today. Outside, one and two. Shot! 
sharp hit ball, base hit by a man, Nicole Warren. One on here in the bottom of the fifth with two away. And that'll bring the left fielder, Lizzie Noble, to the plate. One of the sharpest hit balls in this game today. The Fury trying to tack on some more runs here to add to their lead. Throw down the first. Uh-oh, that's going into right field. Nicole Warren does not move up on the play. Good backup by Whitney Ferris. Oof, that could have been bad. Way outside, 2-0. Over the outside corner, two and one. Lizzie looking for something to drive here in a gap. Popped out the second, and that'll end the inning. Corey Body just can sit, continues to roll after that tough first inning at the end of five. Fury, gold three, Gators one. We'll be back. Let's get back to the action in Clearwater, Florida. At the Eddie Seymour Complex. Field 3, 0-1. Called strike, 0-2. Upstairs, one and two. Emily locked in trying to get on base for her first time this evening. Just foul tipped back. Count stays the same, one and two. Swung on and missed. Jay Lee's eighth strikeout of the evening. Jay Lee Heinrich putting on a nice pitching performance tonight. Eight strikeouts. Swung 
Savannah Fru trying to bunt her way on. Throw to first. Just held on by the second baseman. Two away. I haven't wrote that down I don't think ever in my life. What? I don't think I've ever wrote that down. You ever get a score? Not too many times. Steve Rye, going one. Do you know how to do it? Yeah, I know how to do it. I'm just saying it's rare. Not maybe for this, but in a major league baseball game, it's pretty rare for a 3 4. You I know, but. It, it, Sacrifice one. I guess. Fall away, 0 oh 2. So far tonight, Cassandra Castles had two strikeouts. She's looking to turn the tables here. Here's the pitch. Outside, one and two. Jaylee wanted that one. Her confidence continues to rise inning by inning, pitch by pitch on that mound. That's low, two and two. This Gator team has just just looks absolutely deflated since the double play. Swung on, just tipped out of the catcher's glove. Foul ball. Count stays to the team. Two and two. Strike three on the inside quarter. Her ninth punch out of the evening miss for Miss Jaylee Heinrich. What a pitching performance she's putting on tonight on these Gators. At the end of five and a half, score still remains the same. Nebraska Fury three, Gators one. We'll be back. And we're back here in Clearwater, Florida, bottom of the sixth inning. Strike down the middle. Leading off the inning for your Fury, number nine. Uh, Megan May, the catcher. She's doubled in a, with two RBIs in her first at bat and grounded out the second in her previous. One and one. Hard ground ball to third. Throw to first. Just out in time. One away.
Line drive to center field. Testing. Oh, there we go. Line drive deep to center. In case you all, anybody missed it. Caught it just a few feet before the wall. Two outs. Now the dish. First baseman Z era Flodman. Hit by pitch. The brass could get a base runner here. And that'll bring up right fielder number 12, Megan May. She flew out to right in her previous at bat. Just on the outside corner, one and one. Outside, two and one. Ground ball to short in the hole. Short stops out for the first. Oh, she just ran it out. Good hustle by Megan May. First and second here in the bottom of the sixth. Nebraska Fury are threatening. Good legs by Megan May to run out that ground ball. Testing. Fouled out of play, 0 and 1. Corey Zeepke struck out in both of her at bats tonight. Let's see if she can hit one hard somewhere in a hole and get the Fury some more runs. There's a ground ball up the middle. Second baseman is there. Safe at every base. Somehow the Fury were safe at every base on the play. Now they're loaded with Fury. Two away. Can Corey Bodgers dig in here and keep this a two-run game? Stepping in the batter's box, number eight, second baseman Katie Hurd. Foul ball, 0-1. Katie struck out and hit a ground ball to second in her last at bat. Corey gets the sign she likes. Here's the pitch. Ground ball up the middle again. Corey comes up with this one. Throw to first out of the inning. Keeping this at two-run lead. We will go into the seventh inning. Final inning of the game. Nebraska Fury 3. Gators 1. We'll be back. Here we go, top of the seven. Gators will need two for this game to continue. At the dish, your pitcher for the game, Corey Bodges. Fouled away 0-1. Corey's pitched an excellent game tonight. The nerves were running in the top of, bottom of the first, and she gave up three runs, a couple walks, five straight balls, and two hits. 
to give the Fury a 3-0 lead. Their offense has not gave her any support tonight. Only one run. So they will need two here in the top of the seventh. Strung on and missed. Going two. This Gator team has not given up yet. Continued support from her teammates. Here's the pitch. Outside, one and two. Jaylee Heinrich has been on her mark all night with nine strikeouts, giving up four hits with one run over six innings of play. Will she complete the game and get the win? Wind up in the pitch. Swung on, fouled. One and two. Corey gets her sign. Fouled back again. Count stays the same, one and two. That's up high, two and two. Count evens up. Can the Gators prevail and put two on the board here? Popped up to third. Uh oh, it's going to drop in. Nope, the shortstop is underneath it and makes the play for the Fury. That was Nicole Warren. One away here in the top of the seventh. Stepping in the batter's box, the catcher for the Gators, Eric Alex Arceola. She has singled and struck out tonight. Let's see if she could find a hole and get back on the base path for these Gators. Right down the pipe, so in one. Gators just need base runners right now. That's down low. One and one. Yeah, the, the bench that we know nothing about. <laughs> Geely gets her sign. Wind up in the pitch. Upstairs, two and one. Good eye by Alex. Counts two and one on Alex Arceola. Here's the pitch. Downstairs, three and one. The Fury hoping for a strike call there, not getting it. I guess so. Right down the center. That'll fill up the count at three and two. You can never get too much softball here at the Eddie Seymour Complex in Clearwater, Florida. Ground ball back to pitcher. Jaylee called it. She's got it. Throw to first. A little low. Fine catch by the first baseman. Zero Flutman. Two away. The Fury are one out away from a big win here over the Gators. The Gators will have a pinch hitter here for Whitney Ferris. Pinch hitting will be number five. Who is not on our roster. And it could be any of these girls that are on their bench. I'm going to go with my educated guess. I'm going to go with my educated guess and say it's Amanda Coyle from St. Andrews School, 2014 graduate with a 3.9 GPA, her first at bat of the game. Can she keep the Gators alive? Here's the pitch right down the center, 0-1. 
Jaylee feels the victory in her grasp. She will get the win. Corey Bodgers will get credited with the loss unless the Gators can make a comeback. Jaylee gets her sign. Wind up in the pitch. Bunted, just foul. Count goes to 0-2. Amanda Coyle was flying down the first baseline. She's definitely got some wheels on her. And the Gators are down to their final strike of this evening. Jaylee breathes in, gets the sign, wind up in the pitch. Upstairs, one and two, good eye by Amanda Coyle. Cold off the bench, can, t can she keep the Gators alive here? Gators had their fingers crossed, hats on backwards, toes crossed. Here we go. Swung on and missed. Complete game for Jaylee Heinrich with a 10 strikeout performance tonight. Fine pitching by Jaylee. And the Nebraska Fury with a big 3 1 win over the Gators. And that'll do it here in Clearwater at Eddie Seymour Complex. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning, 8 30 p.m. sharp. This is Eric Pignataro. Good night, everybody.